Iraqi security forces continue to battle Islamic State militants in West Mosul. But less than a mile from the fighting, near the Al Sawaf Mosque, groups of Shiite Muslims are helping needy Sunni families who have stayed despite the violence. More than four dozen volunteers from Diyala and Kut in southern Iraq prepare three hot meals daily and feed thousands, said Hashim Abbas. As, 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 you, as you see now, we cook and we serve on the front line. They truck in water, staples like rice and beans, vegetables such as eggplants, onions and tomatoes, lots of bread, potato-like desert truffles, and powdered milk, which they divide into packets. They also haul in plenty of meat, as well as oil and propane for the cooking. A pair of cooks works around the clock to prepare daily meals. But these volunteers have sacrificed more than just their time in the past three years. We give uh, casualties, like casualties, uh, as well as, uh, uh, injuries. Eight injuries. Five cars. This, right. this man was lightly injured from an ISIS mortar attack while trying to help a woman with an infant. Because, because that was a, a, girl, a woman. She had a baby and she doesn't have a milk for him. So he went to the, the one of the markets, the black market, and he got get, he get injured there. The volunteers have helped feed Iraqi forces, sectarian militias, and civilians forced from their homes in cities like Ramadi and Fallujah as the troops fought to push ISIS from the country. Abbas said their focus now is on caring for the Sunni civilians in Mosul in response to Shiite cleric Ali Sistani's call. The city has seen heavy fighting for nearly six months. Residents lack food, water, and basic services. In ISIS-held areas, the militants are said to be using food and water to recruit fighters and to lure civilians to serve as human shields. The use of human shields has recently slowed the Iraqi offensive as officials seek to minimize civilian suffering there. This Iraqi colonel commanding a mortar position near the Shiite food distribution site said his team has been firing on car bombs and ammo depots, but they have been less active recently. Observers near the front lines say operations have slowed noticeably after reports last month of numerous civilian casualties. Air support is at a minimal. The decrease in tempo is giving civilians a chance to flee. Many continue to stream out of the city, where buildings have been turned to rubble and roads have been cratered. Yet as Iraqi forces continue patrolling mostly abandoned streets, some families remain, eking out whatever semblance of normal life they can in the embattled city. Officials said this week ISIS holds less than 7% of the country. In Mosul, it's only a matter of time before they're gone. The Shiite volunteers say they're here for the long haul. Abbas said their main concern is caring for the women, children, and elderly still in the city. The volunteers said that though they're Shiites, the Sunnis have welcomed them and offered their homes to them. The men said they hope to show the world that the Muslims of Iraq are united. Reporting from West Mosul, this is Chad Garland for Stars and Stripes.